Today we have an unboxing from Fancels. Hi everybody, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name's Suzanne and today is Fancels Fun Day. Woohoo! <laughs> Now, even before we open the package, I do have to say that a lot of these are practical products. Who says pretty can't be practical? And I think I proved that last time I had a Fancels package with the amazing water tumbler. I was so cock -a hoop happy with it and I use it every day now as my water bottle. So if you didn't see that video then please do head up to the eye and I'll link it in there for you so you can see that at the end of this one if you want to. So as I was saying a lot of this package includes practicality as well as a lot of prettiness. Okay, let's get the package open. I can't wait. Woo! I've, I'm really, really pleased with the selection I made this time. And thank you to Ryan for offering me another unboxing. <laughs> okay, let's have a delve. Ooh, let's see, have a feel about. Okay, I felt. Right, aha, okay, yes, I know what this is. <laughs> so this is a kit. Aha, <laughs> not surprising, I know. But if I bring it up closer, you'll see that it's a circular design. It's not a coaster. Let's open it up. Move the package out of the way a bit more. Ooh given it away that we've got crystals included in this kit. There we go. Open this up. Start with the basic tool kit, green tray, pink wax, single place a diamond pen. Usual type of tool kit in the budget buys. And here we have this cute little product. Now, have you seen here? Have you guessed what it is? Let's have a look. Oh, that's the sticky edge. We don't want to remove that just yet. <gasps> Ready? It's a mirror. And I thought, how practical, you know, when you're out and about and you want to put a little bit more lippy on or check yourself out. <laughs> But both sides will be diamond painted, so you do get the lovely crystals on both sides of the mirror. Isn't that fabulous? I thought that was really practical and pretty. So tick, tick. And there are lots of different designs to choose from. I like the greens, so I went for this one. Let's have a look at the colours of the crystals. A really cute little pack. Oh, look at those little teardrop shapes of a limey green. Marquis AB crystals, again in the greens, but you will see all of those different colours shimmering on the ABs. Oh, metallic teardrops. Woo, very rock and roll. Love those. An orange round. A clear round, a brown round, a pale green round and a darker green round. I think those colours are going to be so beautiful all together on this. Quite autumn isn't it? So I want to see. I think these golden metallics are going to be the V symbols, aren't they? Right in the middle. And I think that'll be the clear crystal. That is going to look so pretty. I can't wait to be using my mirror and have everybody looking at me with envy. <laughs> so that is kit number one, very practical. And the price, I can only give you the UK price, but I will put all of the links in the description box below so you can find these easily. £3.99, British sterling. 
Okay, next. Another lucky dip. Have a good feel around. What's this? <gasps> yes. Okay, this one is the most expensive kit of all of my choices. And if we have a look in that top corner, it is a dual box. So I thought this would be so interesting to have a closer look at, see how sturdy it is, what it's made out of, what the designs are gonna be like. I think it's actually that design that I chose because I loved, again, the blues and the greens and the reds together. Very drawn to that. Diamond painting. So this being in a nice box could be a gift idea too. Again, we've got our basic toolkit. Oh, we've got some self-seal baggies as well in this one. And here it comes. <laughs> now, I knew it would be in pieces. I'm hoping it's easy to put together because although I wanted practical, I'm not a DIYer. <laughs> so, yeah, we might have to, um, it looks like it just pieces and slots together, so I'm sure I'll be fine. And these are the interesting ones. So we've got the what looks like the base here, but look at this. <gasps> How gorgeous does this look? I think this design is superb. Now, looking at the background you can see here we've got like a leather effect which isn't diamond painted and then we've got these strips of brown so let's have a look now oh oh my goodness i'm so impressed look that is not sticky but this is so the bits that are not diamond painted you don't have to worry about, that's incredible. Such attention to detail. And being the lid, I, was, I thought there was another layer underneath, but it isn't. There's a sort of a step on top of the lid, so it sits in the box nicely. Oh, I see. These are the sides of the box, and each one will have jewels along it. Look at this design again, like I say, in all of those colorways with this floral detail and then that background. The sides look virtually all diamond painted. It looks like there might just be little bits in the petals there that are not and obviously where the slots are. This is the end part with the flower in the middle. So those match, and again, the other side matches. So really good attention to detail because, you know, they could have been off center or anything had there not been attention to detail in the design. That lid is just gorgeous. I love these colourways and as I say, there are different colourways, different designs to choose from and it is a solid wood. So once the box is all put together, you have a sizeable area to store things in and it will be that deep. So perhaps, oh, do you know what I've just thought? What a wonderful way to store your diamond painting pens. Now, would one fit? Let me just check. Okay, so this is my biggest diamond painting pen. So I think it would fit once the sides are on. If not, I could always store it diagonally, but then you struggle. But yeah, I would say you could store your diamond pens in here and you'd probably get one, two, three, four, five, five diamond painting pens in there. Oh, oh, what about your cover minders? They could go in your washi tapes. Oh, loads of ideas. Oh, I might have to get more than one. <laughs> 
So I have now got my little tape measure to measure the base and it is 20 centimetres long and 15 centimetres, a bit slightly bigger than 15 centimetres wide. But of course the sides have to fit in here so the inside of the box will be I would say 14 centimetres by approximately 18 and a half. And then the depth will be about four centimetres. So I hope that helps if you need the actual measurements. Let's have a look at the colours of the diamonds we get with this one. Oh, they're all in self-seal bags. By the way, this is the most expensive kit in the whole pack. So whilst I'm showing you these crystals, then please do have a guess at the price. And I will tell you once we've had a look at these sparkly delights a clear round a teal round look at that beautiful a gold round an orange round a red round and now we come to the special shapes teal marquee shape oh, they are so gorgeous oh, an AB marquee shape look at the colors in there can you see those oh, that one is stunning too a real in fact let me get a tray found a white tray so we can have a closer look Here we go. We can see some of the colours in these marquee ABs. Now in this corner, look at those two there. Can you see as well as I can the purples and greens sparkling out from those two? And these here are more pastel-y, pinks, purples, blues. Just stunning. And that's why we tend to love ABs. Oh, gorgeous. That is going to be incredible on there. Okay, we also have some pearl type AB rounds in yellow. Teal bigger teardrop shapes. Ooh, proper bright pink big marquee shapes that colour and look at these AB rounds with that gorgeous floral carving on the top and those colours again oh beautiful kit let's have a little look so we're going to have those are going to be circling around what I think number nine Number nine. Oh, that's six. <laughs> Where's number nine? Here. These tealy blue crystals here. Number seven. With those AB marquees there. <gasps> Just all of it is going to be glorious. Okay. Did you have a guess at the price for this kit? Well, let me tell you. The UK price is £8.99. £8.99! I can't get over it. I just think it's such great value. You've got all of the fun of diamond painting the box and then a practical, beautiful product to use once you've finished. Superb. Absolutely. And if you don't want to diamond paint it yourself, I think it's a great gift idea because... 
even if you've never diamond painted before, you don't have to worry about things being in a straight line or anything like that. And it's all single placed because you can't really multi-place this kit. So really, really, really super. I love that. I, do you know, I, I could see myself getting another one of those <laughs> or two. <laughs> Especially now I've had those ideas of what I could use them for, for diamond painting. Yes! Right, next! Another dip in. Ah, now this one I think isn't as practical, but I loved it. So I'm going with it. Here we are, a diamond painting kit. You'll know. <laughs> You'll know already why I chose it, I'm sure. <laughs> Already, it's a small kit with 20 colours. You can already see, look, that beautiful floral arrangement here. It is a 30 by 30. And look at these two birds. Magpies, if ever I saw two. <laughs> and you know the saying, one for sorrow, two for joy. There we are. I thought this kit was so pretty. And look at the floral heart with those beautiful flowers. Really, really gorgeous. And I think, even though it's a small diamond painting, the detail in those flowers is actually really good. I'm trying to ignore all of the eye symbols in the background. <laughs> but there we are. There are a lot of those off-white colours. But you can't have everything, can you? If you're going to do nice pictures, sometimes you have to do either the black or the white to show those amazing colours off. There we are. I will do a measure once I've put the cover sheet back on, just to see, I think it'll probably be 25 by 25. But I had to, I just had to, as soon as I saw that they were magpies, being stone magpie, I couldn't resist. And when you look at the birds, they're not just black and white, they've got these delicious blues and greens within them. Lovely. So again, a basic toolkit, no self seal baggies this time, just green tray, pink wax, single placer. And here are the diamonds again in self seal bags. Really good. It's a round diamond painting kit. And here is that background colour, but it's not that big a bag. It's fine. <laughs> We've got, again, I think teal green is probably the theme of this unpacking as well as practicality. <laughs> Love that colour. Then we have a brown, a blue, a very, very pale mint, more like apple white, dark blue, a... Hmm, what would you call that? Brownie red, pink, green, lots of that pink, a bright orange, a very, very dark blue, pale blue, another dark blue, a peach, a bright orange, a darker peach tan colour, grey, Darker mushroom grey and a 310. So not many 310s considering you think magpies are black. Look, that is black. Not many. Now I did promise that I was going to measure this little picture. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. And this one will be really quick to do as well. 24 by 24, the actual diamond painting. So what would you do? Would you do the background first and then go into the detail? Or would you do the detail and finish with that white background? 
Not sure which way I'd approach this one yet. I was wondering whether I would do the white in the middle and then cut out <laughs> to avoid doing these bits, but I don't, I think it's too twiddly to do cutting out around this one. So I think, honestly, I would probably do the design and finish with the white. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. <laughs> Just pop those aside. Because we've got another kit to open. Okay. By the way, that diamond painting that I've just unboxed was £2.99. Wow. Value, value, value. Okay, next. Right, another boxed product. This one's a little bit worse for wear. But inside, let's see what we've got. We have shapes. Get it all out. Ah, never seen one of those before. <laughs> so what is it? Well, I have some clear round sticker tabs. Don't know what they are. Two unknown quantities so far. And here we have three different designs. Look at those! Oh, they're so different. We've got the reds, oranges and greens in a star shape for this one. But we've also got twiddly bits around it. That's quite similar to my mirror, I think. Then we have a blue, red, yellow design with like love hearts around a floral centre. And again, a tealy green blue. <laughs> this one being a star with, I would say, marquee shapes all the way around. So what are they? They are all flat, they are all on card. And these, I'm not sure how it works yet. I am a little bit befuddled. Hopefully it'll be clear on the box. But these are LED hanging lights. And that's what this is. These are the lights that will shine through once they're made to make the decorations. Now I have to say on Fancels, they call these Christmas LED lights. Oh no, 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 I say. <laughs> Why only for Christmas? They're not particularly Christmassy. They would be beautiful for Christmas, but I would call these festival lights. I'm going to put these up in the house all the time. I'm not waiting for Christmas. <laughs> so we get the three different lights. We get the LED light pack and whatever these sticker tab things are for, we'll find out. I wonder if it's because you have to fold them around and they stick down somehow, not sure. Again, the basic toolkit, again with self-seal bags. And let's see the crystals. Oh my goodness, I've already seen all that. Right, we'll start with the rounds. <laughs> Clear crystal, gold, teal, theme of the week. <laughs> and bright green rounds. Oh, wow, I don't know where to start. These are all incredible. Okay, we have a gold teardrop faceted crystal. We have, look at these, little Diddy AB rounds. Similar to those other ones we saw earlier, but these are tiny and they've still got the carved little star flower in the middle. Beautiful. Look at these, very rock and roll. Now these are elongated marquees. I would call those in a gold 
Oh, I'd love some earrings. Oh, like that. Mm. Hopefully there'll be some leftovers. We have gold studs. <laughs> we have AB pearlescence in turquoise. This is just, do you see what I mean about festival? It is a festival. We have marquee red ABs. We have, look at these, cabochon teardrop ABs in red. Really pretty. We have teardrop cabochon ABs in turquoise. And wait till you see this. Oh my gosh, I've never had these before. Wow! Glitter teardrop crystals. Look at that. And they are in that beautiful teal colour. Oh, they are amazing. I want those as earrings too. I'm hoping they have two left. Please. Oh, right, so they are the crystals, and what a fabulous crystal, oh, delight. This is just far too exciting for words. Absolutely, right, let me see if I can work out what we do. Drilling step, oh, well, we know how to diamond paint, and if you don't, the instructions are on the box, and again, maybe a good starter kit, because... You don't have to put them all in a line. You can um, do it by number. So you could do all the number ones, all the number twos, etc. Really, really simple. And again, they haven't made the bits that are not diamond painted and not sticky. Hooray! So it looks like the centers have all of those crystals in. Okay, let's have a look. What do we know? No glue needed, hooray. Oh, that's probably because we've got those sticky tabs. Eco-friendly materials. Hmm. Parent-child interaction, handmade for over three years old. So if you've got young children over three, again, a great kit for the holidays. And enhance imagination, yeah but it still doesn't tell us how we make the lights when we finish them. So I'm hoping it's easy. <laughs> I'm hoping to work it out once I've been able to do those. Now, if you liked this kit, you'll like the next one too. This is the last one I'm going to be showing you today and snap <laughs> but this one is different same idea but different let's see what we get again we get the sticky tabs and the led light pack the basic toolkit and this time the designs are as so. I just couldn't choose between these two. And I thought, do you know what? Six lights, all different, would look so pretty. So I chose both packs to show you. So this one has got the star in the middle with the diamonds around the outside. Look at this one with the, now these, look, they're like blues. Now these ones, I would say, you could say they're icicly with the colourways being blues and browns and blacks. And then, whoa, look at this, with the stars and the diamonds again in those yellows. So different from that first pack. So let's have a look at the crystals in this one. See if we get any spectacular ones like the last time. Starting with the rounds. We've got more rounds in this one. We've got a pale mint green, clear crystal, dark blue, purple, that looks like a brown or a black, a gold, a green and a red. Then onto the special shapes, 
we've got the Teardrop Cabochon AB in turquoise. We've got the bigger rounds with those carved flowers stars in the middle. We've got Teardrop AB facets. We've got little round purple AB faceted crystals and we've got AB marquees. So that's what we get in this kit. Honestly, myself, I'm more excited about that other one because those were incredible. But if you prefer these designs, oh, why not get both? They are £4.99 per pack really really good price for those and I can imagine with the lights on and oh they're being all twinkly they are going to look so gorgeous and they're on a string so you hang them up on the wall oh beautiful so that's the whole package unboxed and look how full my table is full of practical pretty and amazing products that I'm so thrilled to have. I'm really pleased with everything. And to be honest, I don't know which one to do first. <laughs> I think because I'm going away soon for a week's break to the seaside, I may well take these lights and have a go. Oh, I'm just so drawn to those gorgeous crystals, but who knows, I may well take the box or I may well take, <laughs> oh, choices, choices. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed watching the video. I hope you consider subscribing, liking and sharing. It's always great to hear from you. So please do drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've worked on any of these sorts of kits. Let me know if you know how to put together the LED lights. <laughs> Thank you again, Ryan, for allowing me to choose such amazing products from Fancels. I really do appreciate it. So until the next video, please do enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.